Hey, how's it going? Aiden Hansen here with Umarex, and we're talking the Notos again. Again, probably one of the most popular guns that's out there right now. Definitely as fast as we get them and as fast as they go out. So we get a lot of questions on the magazine. Um, I get them via Instagram. If you if you follow me at TX Hog Dude on Instagram, you can ask me questions there or send me messages. It might take me a day to get back with you or two um, if I happen to catch it. So you can make a comment on one of my things. Hey, check your DMs or whatever it is. To, to go from there. So what I did was I grabbed a gauntlet magazine, as you can see here. This is what everybody's used to loading. So when we got the the Notos, what they did with the Notos is they flopped the magazine entry to the opposite side. And one thing you always need to remember is the plastic will always face you. Okay, it slides in and as it locks into place, there's a little groove there that this slot goes into. And once it lines up, it's good. So. If you look at the arrows on both of these, as I hold these magazines up, you can see an arrow there and an arrow there. So with those two arrows, that's how you start. To load the gauntlet, you lift it up here and you spin it all the way around. Then hold your finger under, the, under the, this portion of it here, and then you go ahead and just drop your pellet right down inside there, and that first one indexes it and holds it, keeps the spring under tension, and that's what makes it so when you when you cock the gun and start, it'll start rotating this, loading the next pellet into the face. Okay, so now that we know this one goes up this way, if you look at the arrow on this one, it's the same thing with the Notos. You pick this up and you rotate it all the way around. So this one's already been adjusted, so I'm gonna address a couple things here. So the, the loading side of it, just remember, follow the arrow. If you see it here, it should start this direction and you should feel a little bit of that spring tension. So what we're also going to show you here today is there's two different things. If you look at this one, the top of this is a little tighter as you spin it around. It's got a little bit more tension on the, uh, the plastic piece, but you can see how it kind of snaps back. This one's got quite a bit of tension. And then there's also what we have here is this little detent. And this is what locks the plastic piece into place. So if for some reason the magazine's like this, and because it's loose, and I try to place it into the gun, this portion of the magazine is going to catch and it becomes a little difficult to do it. You're going to have to recenter this back up. But I'm going to show you how to make some adjustments there. So what you're going to need to get is a, a smaller Phillips screwdriver here because we'll be working with the, the center portion of it here today. And then a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. And so, and there's a reason I'm telling you this. So this one that we have here is really loose. Like if, if I put any tension on this thing, it'll fly all the way back around and it'll spin far enough back. But you can see how loose that is as opposed to this one, which has already been adjusted. So this one here has got a little bit of tension on it. So it's kind of like drag if you're used to fishing. It'll give you a little bit of drag on there. We'll tighten that up. So the first thing we're going to do is a lot of people want to grab a screwdriver and go in here and start to tighten this down right away. You can't do that. And there's, there's a reason why you can't do that is you have to go on the back with the 1.5 and in this center section right here, this, there's an adjustment pin here, and I can take the 1.5, and I want to back this thing out. Okay, it might only take two or three turns, and it's hard to see. You can't really see it down there, but the 1.5 fits perfect. Then I can come back up here and take this screw. If you want to, the best thing to do is with each one of these whether it's the Allen wrench that you have to take out of the little set screw or whatever, uh, or the, the Phillips that's on the front. If you get some blue Loctite, you can put some blue Loctite on there. Um, get it all adjusted how you want to because the internal, the, the screw itself doesn't really spin um, inside of there. You can put some blue Loctite on there to keep it from, be, from becoming loose or unadjusted, I guess, at that point. So what I want to do is I want to tighten this down on top. This is going to take and tighten down the tension of the top plastic piece that's on here. So you can see I'm turning it a little bit. And I'm, I'm literally just, right when I feel it snug up, I'm checking it. That might be just a tad too tight for me there. So I'm going to back it off just a little bit. And it should have just a tad bit of tension on there. So when you're operating this, a little bit of tension. So now that I found the tension on there, I go to the back. And again, you can take this Allen, uh, Allen set screw out of there, and you can put some blue Loctite on it. So now that I have that down there, I'm going to tighten this down so that it holds tight here. So 
This one's a little, little bit stiff on this end of it. You can back it off all you want. And we're talking like an eighth of a turn, maybe, if even that. Just enough to pull tension. If you have just a little bit of that spring right there, that seems to work the best. And then I'm going to go back here to the back and tighten up that tension screw. The Loctite makes it nice because you can do that. If it doesn't fully snap back right away, after a little bit of use, it'll, it'll start working its way through. So the next piece that we're going to address, and it's the same exact 1.5 millimeter on the Allen wrench, is this little detent. So the detent fits directly where this plastic piece is right here. So if you can see where this is, all you do is rotate that up. It locks it into place. So if I need to add more of a, a snap to it, all I have to do down here is I, I take the 1.5 and I just rotate this around. If I do it too much, I don't know if you can see that. If I tighten this down too much, and this is where your, your blue Loctite comes in, you can go get a ball at Ace Hardware or wherever you guys have, locally Lowe's, Home Depot or whatever. If you can see that gap that's inside there, can you see that? So now if I try to put that in the gun, it won't fit into the magazine well. So it just gets stuck on the outside. So there's a very fine line on what you want. So what, what I do is when I look, and you guys might be able to see this as I make this adjustment, and this is important to use the blue Loctite on here because it'll help. I, I, I loosen, I tighten it down until it lifts, and then I loosen it up right to the point, and you can almost see where the detent hits. But the second it starts to put any extra pressure on that plastic, you want to stop. And so I can check it from here, and I can feel it, it makes an audible little click. Then, at this point here, all I gotta do is open the breech. The magazine should fit directly into here. You gotta line this little line up on this side here, and it slides right down inside there. So now that we've made that adjustment, and, and of course the magnetic side is from there, but now that we make that adjustment, you, you always double check to make sure this works. So what you really need, small screwdriver, a 1.5 millimeter um, Allen wrench, and then a bottle of blue Loctite. So any of your Nodos magazines that you have, uh, my frustration I think at the beginning is, is when it would get loose it would just open up like this. It'd make me kind of frustrated because I would go to put it in the gun and I couldn't load it very fast. So I just showed you how to make the adjustment there. And again, keep continuously look at this area here when you put the little pin in there. And you should be able to hear that audible click. I don't know, can you guys hear that? Yep. So you got the lock in there. So long and the short of it. Phillips screwdriver for the front, but first of all, you want to loosen up in the back here just to kind of recap what we did. You're going to loosen this up in the back first. You can loosen this up just a tad if you want to. Tighten this down in the front until you get this to move. And it should have just a little bit of tension on there that it kind of snaps back. Just That's about perfect. And uh, once you get it to that position, Put it right there, take your 1.5 in the back and tighten down that set screw. You may have to play with it a little bit, so you put that blue Loctite on there, it won't dry on you right away. You let it sit overnight or even a couple hours, you'll be in good shape. And then again, that last part, we'll just take and adjust this set screw. If I tighten this down, again, just as a refresher, if I tighten down, you can see that plastic start moving out. You can see that gap, I can almost fit that in there. That's definitely what you don't want to do. So I want to back this down until I feel that little detent and I can feel it click into place. So I hope that helps you guys um, with some of the Notos questions that I normally get on the internet. So if with you guys on Instagram, it's, it's TXHogDude on Instagram. If you wanna follow me there or ask me a question, um, I'll help you guys along with that. And most of the time I'll probably just have you call me or we can do a video, I can talk you through it or whatever. But that's the Notos magazine. It's a gauntlet magazine. The only difference is they're on opposite sides and they both spin the opposite direction to load them. I'm Ryan Hansen with Umarex. That was uh, a little tip for the minute here. And uh, you guys have fun slinging lead.